let's look at popularity aspect of those programming language. And we'll start with the numbers from the Stack Overflow survey. So for the most used, JavaScript got 67.7%. Watching holistic developer channel and in this video we're going to answer the question what is the programming language that you should learn in 2020 a lot of you are asking me what is the programming language that you should learn what is the next programming language you should learn or what is the first programming language you should learn to start to code and a lot of those questions are really important and I wish I had a crystal ball and I can answer with 100% certainty what is the next language, programming language you should pick up and learn. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I don't have a crystal ball, so I cannot answer you with 100% certainty what is the next language that you should learn. But what I do have is curiosity and desire to figure it out. So also I have internet, <laughs> I have Google, there is also this thing as Stack Overflow survey, there's Indeed, Glassdoor and so on. So we're going to use those resources today to figure out what is the programming language you should learn in 2020. The reason why we're going to use Stack Overflow survey is that in my opinion, that survey is one of the most important surveys in tech industry. Reason being that about 65,000 people worldwide are taking this survey and it's really, it really has a lot of aspects for developing what, what programming languages, salary, experience, and so many, many, many more. So I highly recommend you to check it out, but without me derailing to something else, let's get to what we're going to talk about in this video. So we, we're going to look at the following criteria. For the language that you should learn, we will look at popularity, we will look at the financial aspects like salary, and also we will look at the number of jobs of the job market for that particular language. And all of these numbers will be for the US just to make it more concise because if we add other global markets <laughs> it will be really really challenging to do this and it will be definitely probably a few hours of video also the resources that we are going to use will be google friends will be stack overflow survey indeed and glassdoor the the languages that i think we should consider are the following it will be javascript python TypeScript, C Sharp, and Go, and Java. So are you curious about why these six languages? <laughs> Drop your comment below. Um, yeah, so those are the six languages that I think we should consider. And the formula to determine what programming language should you learn will be the following. For the popularity, we will look at the Stack Overflow survey, the most commonly used programming language, the most loved programming language, the most desired programming language, and also we will look at the trends, like what is the search results for this programming languages in 2020, let's say for the last 12 months in the US. Also, we will look at the salary of those programming languages because let's face it, it's important on the, it has an incentive, right? So we will use Google for that. We will use Indeed and we will also look at Glassdoor and also we will look at Stack Overflow. So we'll average all of those numbers and we'll come up with the rating for every single programming language. And then at the end, we'll come up with the conclusion what will be those five or six programming language that you should learn and you will decide which path you should go. That was kind of a long introduction, but I, I think it's important to, to be on the same page and understand what are the criteria and what we're going to do. Let's begin. Let's look at 
popularity aspect of those programming language. And we will start with the numbers from the Stack Overflow survey. So for the most used, JavaScript got 67.7%. For the most loved, JavaScript got 58.3%. For the most wanted programming language, JavaScript got 18.5%. Moving on to Python, for the most used programming language, it got 44.1%. For the most loved, it got 66.7%. For the most wanted programming language, it got 30%. Moving on to Java. Java for the most used got 40.2%, for the most loved programming language it got 44.1%, and for the most wanted programming language Java got 8.8%. Moving on to C Sharp, for the most commonly used it landed at 31.4%, most loved 59.7, it's pretty high, I'm happy about that. Uh, most wanted, it's kind of low, it's 7.3%. Moving on to TypeScript. For most commonly used, it got 25.4%. For the most loved, it got 67.1%. For most wanted, it got 17%. And finally, we got to Go. So, for most commonly used, it only had 8.8%. For the most loved, it got 62.3%. It's pretty high. And most wanted, it got 17.9%. So it's not that high at all. So if we look at all of these numbers and sum them up, JavaScript is <laughs> landing the very first spot. The second spot gets Python. The third spot goes to C Sharp. I'm happy about that. <laughs> TypeScript landed fourth place. Um, Java got fifth place and Go got sixth place. So that's for the popularity if we look at the survey, Stack Overflow survey for three categories, most loved, most wanted, and most used. Moving on to Google Trends. If we look at what is the most used or the most searched term in Google for the last 12 months in the United States. First place, as you can see, is Python. Second place is Java. Third is JavaScript. Fourth is C Sharp. Go is the fifth and TypeScript comes last. So we'll look at this too later on when we'll decide which are the criteria, <laughs> what will be the top language that you should learn in 2020. So far, are there any surprises? Uh, so far, I'm not surprised much. A little bit disappointed about where C Sharp lands because I really like it, but I'll keep my bias on check. <laughs> so let's move on to salary. So the numbers that we are look at for the salary, the first column that I'll mention, those are the numbers I found on Google or Indeed. And the second uh, one will be in the Stack Overflow. So we'll kind of do an average and then we will also sort the languages based on the salary those programming languages uh, provide. So we'll begin with JavaScript. On Google, I found that it's about 118K a year and Stack Overflow, it says that it's about 112K a year. Python, on Google and Indeed, I find it around 119K a year and Stack Overflow, it's 120K a year. So it's pretty the same. It's not that much different. Java looks like it's $104,000 a year if we search on Google or Indeed. And if we look at what the developers say in the Stack Overflow survey, that is $120,000. So it's a slightly difference there. TypeScript, it kind of has the lowest uh, from what I can find on Google. It was $98,000 a year for TypeScript developers and $120,000 salary for TypeScript developers on Stack Overflow. So uh, there's a huge difference there. Moving on to C Sharp, 
Google and Indeed show that is about $102,000 for developers who are using .NET. And for Stack Overflow, it's $110,000 for C Sharp developers. And if we look finally at Go, it looks like the average on Google and Indeed, it shows that it's about $110,000 there. But on Stack Overflow, Go has the highest $140,000 salary for Golang developers. So if we were to look at these numbers and summarize and to kind of give it a rating, kind of place the programming languages based on their salaries, we'll get first place goes to Go, <laughs> um, second goes to Python, third goes to JavaScript, fourth goes to Java, fifth goes to TypeScript, and sixth goes to C Sharp. That breaks my heart. <laughs> Okay, our next criteria was to look at the job market. So the first number that I'll mention will be the numbers that the job offers are according to Indeed. And the second number will be the class door numbers. So for JavaScript, we have about 37 and a half thousand job postings for JavaScript developers. And on Glassdoor, it's about 48,000 job postings for JavaScript developers. But for Python, we have on Indeed about 50,000 postings and on Glassdoor about 65,000 postings. Moving on to Java, Java got 45, about 46,000 postings on Indeed and about 68,000 postings for Java developers. Moving on to TypeScript, on Indeed is about three and a half thousand postings, and on Glassdoor is about five and a half uh, job offers for TypeScript developers. Moving on to C Sharp, my loved one, <laughs> um, Indeed shows that it has about twenty one thousand job postings, and Glassdoor about twenty five thousand offers for .NET developers. Finally, looking at Go, we have about two and a half thousand postings and on Glassdoor about 4,000 um, job offers there. So to summarize these numbers, the very first spot goes to Python. The second place goes to Java. The third place goes to JavaScript. The fourth goes to C Sharp. The fifth place is giving to TypeScript. And finally, we have go. So far, we looked at the popularity of this six programming language, then we looked at the search trends, how did the search go on Google, um, then we looked at the salary, we looked at the job market, how many offers are currently in the US for the six programming language that we are considering. Let's summarize all of this numbers that we have and then we will see who are the winners okay conclusion for the really quick to wrap it up for the popularity score java got one python got second place um, java got fifth place typescript got third place c sharp was fourth go was six uh, for the job market JavaScript got third place, Python the first place, Java second, TypeScript fifth, um, C Sharp four, and Go six. Oh my god, there are so many numbers. Bear with me. We are getting really close to the conclusion. Um, for the search market, so how, how often was that search on Google for the last 12 months? So the most used or the most searched was JavaScript. The second most used was Python, then Java, then TypeScript, then C Sharp, and then Go. Salary, JavaScript got third place, Python got the second place, Java got the fourth place, TypeScript got the fifth, C Sharp got the sixth, and Go got the first. So all of these numbers, let's summarize them and get to what are the top six languages that you should learn in 2020. So 
thumb roll, like, let's do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, but here are the numbers. So if you were following along, maybe you put everything on paper as well. But if you didn't follow along, here are the top languages you should learn in 2020. We will start with the bottom, moving on to the top. And those, I want to preface again, those are the numbers according to our formula. That doesn't represent the reality, maybe. It's just the formula that we used. So it's a kind of a specific data set of numbers. So please take that with a grain of salt. So we have two programming languages that landed on spot number five, and that is Go and C Sharp. Oh my God, C Sharp, you got the fifth place. The f oh God. Um, yeah, I'm not a good actress, sorry. <laughs> the fourth place goes to TypeScript. The third place goes to Java. The second place goes to JavaScript. And the very first place goes to Python. Does any of this come as a surprise to you? Did you expect a different language to be at the top? Honestly, I'm pleased with the results <laughs> because Python is actually my next programming language that I'm going to learn to code in, and that will be probably in a week or two. So I'm happy to see these results. Um, to be honest, it breaks a little bit my heart to see my beloved C Sharp language to be <laughs> very um, at the bottom of our lingu uh, list of programming languages you should learn in 2020, but um, overall, I kind of liked all of this. It was kind of fun. That was it. Those are the numbers. Those were my formulas and my thoughts. I'm curious, how would you modify the formula? What would you add or what would you remove? Or how would you determine what language should you learn in 2020? If you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there is a red button right below this video, like my, my shirt. <laughs> make sure to click on it. That will subscribe you. And also click the red bell. Not, it's not red, it's gray. Click the bell to get notifications where next videos are coming up that will be on similar topics about software engineering. And as always, I'm wishing you to stay sharp, to stay smart, and to have fun. Happy engineering. Bye-bye.